Welcome to Steppers Crypto. In this video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin. Is the bottom at the moment in or can we expect slightly lower price targets for Bitcoin? I'm going to talk about all of that. Also Bitcoin in the immediate short term. I'm also going to talk about the uh, US dollar currency index because the US dollar is shooting towards the upside at the moment. So it's a very interesting update. Before we start, guys, as always, like this video and to my channel and if you are interested in trade signals uh, with the exact entry prices of trades then check out the first link in the description below this video i give daily trade alerts so check it out okay we're gonna start on the bitcoin um sorry on the bitcoin um chart here against the us dollar let's go back to that chart i think it was this one yeah so we are here on the daily time frame on bitcoin and um I'm going to remove everything from the chart here. And uh, what is pretty interesting to see here is um, from off the high here made on the 10th of November at $69,000, Bitcoin came down in this correction. And there are different ways how you can count this uh, towards the downside. In my opinion, the most likely scenario at the moment is a WXY correction. And why is that? Because I can clearly count... Um, let me explain to you. I can count three waves here, three waves here, and three waves down. And it is not yet finished, in my opinion. Um, so WXY correction always consists of uh, a 3-3-3 three, three, three structure. So um, in the, the difference between an ABC correction is a 5-3-5 three, five structure. But I'm going to tell you why I think a WXY correction pattern is more likely. Uh, if we uh, draw a trend-based FIP extension from the top here at 69,000 to the bottom of this W wave and then to the top of this X wave here on the daily time frame, we can clearly see that the 1.382 extension of the uh, W wave is at 17,001. 89 so that is the target of this y wave uh, if this is a wxy uh, correction then the target is the 1.382 extension at 17189 so um, there's just a little bit more to go for bitcoin we are already at 18.4k uh, so that would mean basically a $1,300 drop from off this point, which is not a very big deal. And then we are making this uh, lower low here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Because the low was at 17.5k. But if I enable the closed candles here, we can actually see that Bitcoin is already forming a lower low here in terms of candle closes. And if I enable the indicators here, what we can clearly see is that we are forming a significant bullish divergence here on the daily time frame where not a lot of people are aware of this on YouTube, I see. But this is something to keep in mind. So if we are going to go lower from off this point, I think the 17.2K area is a very likely target for this Y wave where we could reverse and where the bull run could start for Bitcoin. That's definitely a very high probable scenario because everyone is screaming for $10,000, $12,000. I don't know what not. Everyone is extremely bearish and this is typic typical for a bottom, uh, typical at the low. Everyone screams for lower targets at the high of 69,000. Everyone was screaming for 100K. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Um, if I go here to the weekly time frame we can already see that we are now already forming a weekly bullish divergence on bitcoin yesterday i told you that uh, when we were trading above 19.3k that we need to break this uh, low here on the weekly time frame to confirm a weekly bullish divergence and that's exactly what we are seeing right now so this is in my opinion the time to uh, be very bullish on bitcoin and not lose your focus because we are having a, a weekly bullish divergence which is a very meaningful signal which should not be ignored so uh, yeah keep that in mind and if we go slightly lower maybe to 17.3 17.2k then the weekly bullish divergence will even become more strong so keep that in mind very uh, nice signals actually i am more bullish than ever at this moment uh, everyone is bearish and this is the time when we should be bullish of course so please don't ignore this these bullish signals here on the chart very interesting to see um yeah, so what is the next support for Bitcoin? We will find some support here at the 17.5k probably, uh, but I do expect us to bottom out anywhere in this uh, target area, which I'm going to draw out for you now. So that's anywhere, let's say 17, 
let's say anywhere in this area, the bottom should be found for Bitcoin. Most probable if this was a W X Y correction pattern, which is actually hard to count. Uh, not a lot of analysts are um, agreeing on the correction for Bitcoin here. There are uh, multiple ways how you can count this. You can say this or is an ABC. You can also say it's WXY. If it's the WXY, then the price target is the 1.382 extension of the W wave here. So yeah, pretty exciting uh, for me. Uh, if we go to the US dollar currency index, we are actually seeing the opposite signal. So Bitcoin at the moment is uh, completely oversold. We are seeing bullish weekly RSI divergence. But on the US dollar currency index, we are actually seeing the opposite. The weekly RSI here is losing a lot of strength, creating significant lower lows. And yeah, by the way, guys, I do think you can chart the US dollar currency index. I don't know why people think you cannot chart an index. I think we can definitely do that. We are extremely oversold. We have a bearish divergence here, and I do expect this to roll over anytime soon so keep your eyes out wide open on the us dollar currency and exit dxy if i zoom in here to the four hourly time frame we can also see that we are extremely overbought oversold overbought here sorry did i say oversold overbought here and um we are even forming a bearish divergence here on the four hourly time frame so yeah pretty uh, pretty a lot of weakness here in the us dollar currency index so this can break down from any moment in time i think these are the last meters to the upside and i think the next bull run for bitcoin is literally around the corner right now and for the whole uh, crypto market so not the time to sell in my opinion this is the time to buy the time to sell was around sixty nine thousand dollars the time to buy is right now so we are here on the bitcoin four hourly time frame and um yeah let me zoom in here a little bit so we lost all the support levels and the next support will be here in this green box most probably um, most probable we can also see that we are forming bullish rsi divergence here on the four hourly time frame at the moment let's see if that's going to be confirmed if we go slightly lower i do expect us to bottom out in this area here and from there on i would want to see a very very strong reaction towards the upside so i'm talking about very high volume and um yeah big green candles towards the upside and breaking all of these resistance levels towards the upside so pretty interesting to see tomorrow i believe we have the uh the fed meeting the fomc meeting and there will be some things discussed i I'm, i think he's gonna um yeah tell us what the base points are for this uh for this month and um yeah, let's see how everything is going to play out. But I think crypto in general, Bitcoin in general is extremely close to the bottom right now. And um, yeah, I think the US dollar is stopping out at the moment. So let's take a very quick short look at Ethereum at the moment. What is Ethereum doing below $1,300? And where is the next support for Ethereum? It's slightly below us here. I think at these previous weeks here, as I told you, anywhere from 1277 all the way down towards 1190 is big support for the ethereum price let me draw it out for you also here this target area i think this is a very strong uh, support area for the ethereum price so if you want to buy ethereum not financial advice of course i think this is a great spot i think you have a fantastic entry price and um yeah of course that's my strategy we are extremely oversold on all the time frames here we are, I think, even forming a bullish divergence here. Let's check it out. Yes, we are forming slight bullish divergence here on the four hourly time frame. Let's zoom out to the daily time frame here. Also, very oversold. Very oversold here. Um, yeah, so I think uh, this is the time to be bullish. This is not the time to be bearish, in my opinion. Guys, this was my very quick update on Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the US dollar currency index. If you like me to cover those three in future updates, then please let me know in the comment section below this video, and I would love to make them for you. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and if you're interested in trade signals, then check out the first link in the description below this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next update. Bye-bye.